Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 222 of Factorio with Angels and Bob's Mods, where we are working on making polished crystals for uh, modules. Just as a side note, why are we not researching this stuff? Is it just blue science or green science, sir? Yes. And green science, I guess, is still limited on silicon nitride. Looks like it. So... This train needs to only stay here for like 30 seconds. Because otherwise it blocks other trains. That's the problem when you actually use the same deep Oh yeah, same train station for several resources, I guess. This one is actually coming with the nitride. Okay. You can leave. How much are you bringing in? Just under 4k, so not a lot, I guess. But at least it should be enough to get it going a little bit. Get everything going a little bit. Except that I apparently use it all for centrifuges, but we are making a little bit of science. Go grab some more silicon nitride, please. Okay, while that is going on, we finished making silicon carbide at the multi-processing area. We need to do this, but I think I want to make the grinding wheel and grindstones first, at least the production for it. We don't really have a lot of stuff here that requires large amounts of resources, but this seems to be the most intensive. Six resources per... Wait, wait a moment. No, this is correct. One of each is made like this. So yeah, six resources for every one of the crystals to be made. Mm, this obviously needs to be scaled a lot. That's probably the thing that will take up a lot of space. We have to get two of these though. Why is this one using assembling machines for, and the rest is not. Dang it. Stop being annoying. Hell mod, please. Okay. And... Well, we need to get the fluids in, of course. Let's start with that part. Pumps. Let's start by replacing these pumps. And that's all the pumps here. Good. And then we bring the fluids up. Good. <clears throat> Let's just sort of split it at the center here. To the left of that we produce the raw crystal splinters. To the right we do everything else. So let's start with the grind wheels, grinding wheels. Uh, do this. I'm thinking we are making columns of production. Because then we just have to bring the fluids up wherever we need it. So that is what we're going to do. Let's just leave a little bit of space, I guess. 
you make mm, where are grindstones? In here? Yep. Should we be using substations? I'm really trying to get into the habit of using these more. Let's do it. We have no. Oh, we need to, of course, cut up the steel. We don't need a lot, so we can probably get away with just making it in one machine. Again, we don't need a lot, so it doesn't need to be as effective as possible. Also, actually, we could just... Let's bring this deal up here instead. Move this up a bit. And then put this deal in here. Because we actually need to transport less resources this small distance then. This can produce, what, 4, 2 times per second with a crafting speed of 3, so 8 times 3, 24 per second. So we can scale this up to 24 of each crystal per second, and this steel is enough, so I'm good with that. Uh, how many machines for grinding? Two. I need to reorganize the order of these, I think. Something like that. I think that is gonna confuse me a little bit less. If it's done, then we... We only needed one of these. Then why did I think it was two? Well, it doesn't really matter. Let's just build the correct ratio of these. And then we can scale it up if we need to. Good, so those two are done. And then I guess we need to get the crystals. Well, we can set everything up, I guess, if you want to. Also, we weren't meant to be using these. I didn't mean to do it. Hmm. Actually, we could also just fit in the power back here and move out the beacons. Or we could just replace one of the beacons. Or we could just replace some of the machines. Doesn't really matter too much. Hmm. What do we want to do? We want to... Well, it would make sense to get this going, I guess. Crystallizers. Did I not bring any of those? I guess not. Oh, we'll have to wait with that then. Oh, let's do this rock crystal splinter cutting. 
this. Right. Yes. And we need it. Let's just scale everything up to twice the amount because we have already made some of it to that ratio. Which eh, let's just get this out there again to make sure. Wait, what? So these are marked as done. Is that why I'm not getting in them again? But how can you unmark something as done from in here? I'm not entirely sure. I'm I'm not just blind, right? No, there's no production of grinding gear wheels. Grinding wheels. Grinding stones. Grinding wheels, okay. Well, we need two machines for this and three machines for these. So the ratio is actually not correct. Do I care? Two, three. Let's care a little bit more. Three of those. Actually, we could do all of this in, a, in fewer lines, I guess. I'm spending a lot of time on, time on nothing here, but yeah, just thinking about what I'm gonna hate about it later. So this one is done. Then we need to polish everything. Ooh, and we need fluids for that. That's one too many. Three of each. And then we need the hybrid ones. Yeah, let's just do it. That's it. And we can just copy paste these if we want to. Sure thing. So now we just need to crystallize the polluted alienated uh, or polluted alien, artificial fish water, sorry. So some crystallizers please. Oh, 
I doing with the green signs? Still, well, again not running. Makes sense, we probably still don't have enough silicon nitride. Not a lot. We did scale up the production, but apparently we made mistakes and didn't make enough nitrogen. Simply because we can't get rid of the oxygen. I think that was actually once upon a time burning of that. And I removed it before increasing all of this. So that's my mistake. Let's see if we have some flare stacks in the system. We don't. Ooh. I will have to go and take care of that then. Let's just do that. Right now. Should have an overflow valve. But this seems like it's not enough still. This is also burning, but. This honestly isn't the greatest setup. We produce and burn stuff just for the fun of it in many locations, I feel, but I don't worry about that too much. Good. That seems to have taken care of the oxygen. Then we needed more compressed air, which I didn't bring. Should still be a little bit faster. Let's just grab some air filters. That should be a bit better. Maybe still not enough. take quite a while to make. We do have more and more machines doing it as the pipe pressure builds up a little bit. Still need more air though. We usually make two of these for each one of these. We have ten and we only have five of these. But then I do believe that that ratio is a little bit off. Not by a lot though.
that seems to have done it almost at least. This pipe is full of nitrogen now. That's good. Let me even just scale this up a bit more. Because it seems like we actually need quite a lot of it, and we just don't have that much production. Let's hope that it helps quite a bit. It's still not very fast. But then we don't really need to launch more rockets, to be honest. Well, it's not rocket launches, it's screen science. And we do need some of that. I did say earlier that silicon is one of the candidates for an upgraded outpost or dedicated outpost soon. So that is still the case, obviously. Yeah, it's basically instantly consumed here. And that is just because of these. Let's not make so many. Let's consider that fixed for now. And go make some crystals. And face a radar. Oh, we already have one. Never mind me. We don't want to do the crystal seas, right? I'm, I'm, well, I mean, we don't have it in here, but it's too complicated, right? We need crystal dust from geodes, I guess. Seeded dish. The bacteria is just mustard potatoes, that should be fine. This is a bit more annoying, maybe. Cellulose fiber and chloromethane. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about this. I'm okay with just having a chance of making this splinter. So, we should got just get to it. I just realized we put in the wrong fluid here. Oh, I put in the wrong fluid. Let's clear this out. And put that in instead. Good. Do we need any solids in? This is the wrong one. 
this one. No, we do not. Let's get proper new pin of this. So I need 36. Let's do 12 in three rows. That seems fine. Or we could make them a bit longer, I guess. We'll go to 18. Can we have six more? Oh, not really. Or we could just do this and then not, not have a full line of these, because we're not really going to do that anyway. Oh, this is 18. Correct. Is that everything basically right? This of course is only for the crystal splinters. We also want to be producing crystal shards here, but I think that's okay. Now we're at least making a lot of different splinters here. Of course it prioritizes the harmonic crystals, but that's fine. It won't when we actually start requesting the splinters down here. We need one more depot, because we have four different kinds of splinters. Wait, I thought we had a an export station in there, but that's probably something I remember from down here. Yeah, never mind me. We need one more. Good. Let's just go full speed here. Wait. Did we want to maybe put all four different kinds into one train? Ah, uh, let's just split it all up. We can potentially use the same train station at the other end if we want to, but... What do we want? Mm. So we need to bring these into the robot production area, and I don't really want four full-size stations for this. Well, both for the splinters and the shafts, but rather merge them, I guess.
good. So now we have all of the stiff splinters producing. As long as we keep up our artificial fish water and crystal slurry. Artificial fish water, I believe, will be the problem there first. So we probably need to go back to our fish farming and look into any potential problems here. I don't know, this is just self-contained. We're not really using any of this anymore because... No, actually we are. We're not using any of the fish for more of it. I don't think that's a problem, really. Let's just continue this as it is. But we could scale up the amount of fish. We could just double all of this. That should be easy. Down here. We might have some trouble, for example, with urea gas. So we're not making compost anymore. Oh well. Well, we should also have a look at that must red potato farming, because we needed that to grow. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.